My dad may have been a captain in the army. And believe me, all respect to him. For real. You know what I'm saying? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which I stand. Uh, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. But, I don't believe my dad served in warfare, and when it Clinton got elected and it came time that he might end up having to after 17 years of service, he said, no, I'm a free man, I'm not serving under a communist. I love my dad. He's so awesome. And he did it too. He made his own, or he designed his own company incorporating my uh, granddad and my mom's brother, you know, my uncle's, uh, you know, uh, construction company into one. And, but it got our name, Demers Construction, because my dad put it together. You know what I'm saying? My dad is such a leader. Um, shoot, hold on. And I think I was talking about... About a, a different aspect that a lot of people... From that direction don't get. And explains a lot of bipolarism, I think. Or at least within me. Or cyclothymia. To be honest with you, bipolarism, I'm starting to think is different. I'm starting to think cyclothymia, bipolarism, I'm that way and not that way. So, damn it. Alright, anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my dad did go through, you know, basic training and 17 years in the army. Awesome. I really did, in my heart, after I met Gary and Paul and was raised by them, by the time I became to the decision make, you know, to the capacities of, or, or I should say, take it back. Let me put it this way. When I turned 18, I had the decision. Do I want a military career or not? Do you understand what I'm saying? I There was no way I was going in short term. If I was going to go to the military at all. But. To be honest with you. By the age of 18. Thanks to Gary and Paula. And my experience before them. And everything else. Which is part of bipolarism. Shh, sorry about the finger. I gotta say that. I knew. I couldn't handle it. I I, I knew. That I would not be reliable in the line of military duty. I was I was that smart. And I was right. Again, after all the brain scans and history and records and what I'm telling you now, what's gonna happen in the future that apparently I'm being able to predict because I've just gone through it all and I'm smart enough to direct myself and when you can when you're wise enough to direct yourself it usually happens in your life maybe not for everybody else in the planet but you know what I'm saying you can influence others to follow you know the positive or succumb to the negative it's choose you to the state whom you're serving it's junk uh, I think I went on a rant my bad well, I guess that's kind of it. I guess... I'm not probably going to have to watch what I just recorded up to this point to recollect, collect, reflect, and bing, continue. And since I ain't got the video editor yet, because guess what? I probably have the most money I've had at one time in my life, aside from the time that I won the uh, disability court case that I had an attorney have to present me for after five years of trying, which apparently if that's what it took, why didn't I get it the first time I tried? 
Seriously, think about that. And that deserves a finger wag. Think about it. All right, so, time to reflect, and I'll be right back. And when I get a video editor, after the overloaded system allows me to register my new card, even though I've had an account for, you know, going on five to ten years, uh, uh, whatever. Just 300 million people getting... You know, the stimulus checks are all at once. Look what happens. A pandemic. Huh. Or a plandemic. Something to think about, isn't it, humans? 